Hello everyone. In this video tonight, let's do a reading about what uh, do they think, feel, and uh, what are the actions towards you right now, today. We have four different decks, number one, two, three, and four. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person and choose your deck and take your time, please. have it chosen. So let's start with our deck number one. What do they think of you today? Okay, we have a distance card, some sort of distance and um, travel uh, they, they just might think that you're they're, uh, like a good friend or something. It, there's a lot of fun with you, you know, and right now you're not uh, where they are. So they might remember the times when you like celebrated something, when you met up with each other, had fun. And But there's some sort of change and there's some sort of uh, travel, you know, like... So they might be thinking about the good times right now or they might be thinking that they want to meet you and you know or that your meeting was fun what are the feelings very nice oh overall <clears throat> very happy very positive feelings and um, definitely i think they like you and you give them the sense of um, some sort of security and positivity and peace you know that sort of thing uh, maybe you give them the sense um, of how to see like you inspire them all the time you inspire them and um, like you teach them teach them something like you're their guru or you're their advisor like a counselor even so they g gain energy from you and they have good thoughts about you and good feelings as well what are their actions towards you emperor star and ace of swords well 100 uh, percent it can be that they try to clarify something uh, maybe they were trying to communicate with you about some sort of spirituality occult things like that and uh, it can also if you haven't received any letter from them or any you don't talk right now for example uh, it could be that they are just kind of thinking and uh, they want to clarify something about your relationship they're making plans about <clears throat> how will they clarify things and how will what will they say and what new ideas they have and and things like that but it can be that you're talking about the same interests or something with each other and they want to talk to you as well. Okay, um, now what um, are their wishes when it comes to you? What are their wishes? Okay, Queen of Cups. Well, I think they are stuck, uh, so to say they always like you, it's a long distance thing and uh, they're kind of stuck in that loop of liking you, you know, thinking, liking, missing, like it's long term, stable, some sort of feeling and what will happen between you two. Eight of Wands. Ten of Wands, the Fool. Well, it can be something new will happen. You, you know, you will maybe <clears throat> talk a lot. Um, some sort of uh, freedom will be some sort of like a um, refreshing element will come in into your communications. Uh, into your, something new will happen, different from usual stuff. Something that will bring you two together, will bring you two together, maybe a new project or a new some sort of idea or a new 
even call or trip or something like that like you will bring you closer um, if there, there has been a busy time or if there has been an energy that has been kind of collected throughout time I think it's gonna be released somehow you're gonna relax a little bit with each other you're gonna um, be a little bit less serious about your relationship which is good of course you can talk even about something more for example um, something romantic happening romantic um, meeting date you know that sort of thing okay so this is our reading number one let's move on to our deck number two our deck number two what does this person think of you Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. Well, here it can be that they think that you're pretty popular, pretty successful. It can, for some people, be a little bit like arrogant person, arrogant, popular, confident. You know, you know, you know your value, and basically they see you that way. That this girl is something special. You know. Now, what are the feelings towards you? Seven of Swords, Justice, and the Fool. Well, the feelings, we have a little bit of... Um, like they feel maybe that you're doing something wrong, or maybe they're doing something wrong. Maybe they think you're doing something not correctly. You're not behaving uh, how you should behave. Maybe they see you as uh, someone who is dishonest or doing something you know not clever you know com especially legally for example maybe you're doing something from their perspective stupid um, maybe you're even doing illegal stuff you know and you are kinda don't care you know what others will think so they feel that you're a little bit out of control maybe a little bit you know uh, careless when it comes to these things what are their actions towards you nine of cups three of cups queen of cups so person seems to be inviting you to parties inviting you to have fun um, the action is very friendly they demonstrating the friendliness and the fact that they want to be you know friends go out have a drink you know have fun that sort of thing so but feelings are like either they're afraid of something or worried about something that something might be legal or wrong <clears throat> thoughts are good you know thoughts they think you're great now, what are the wishes towards you what are the wishes Son of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Tower. So we have very interesting uh, combination. It talks about maybe they want to get away from you. Maybe they want to get away from their expectations when it comes to you. It can be take money and get away something with the money take money and get away they don't want any um, ties anything after they get what they want they don't want any ties with you things like that so we have some sort of interesting combination that like shows that a very strong interest in the beginning and then and then they're leaving somewhere you know that sort of thing okay and what will happen in the future with this person page of wands ace of swords 
four of pentacles well we have communication with that person we have work with that person some sort of stability it can be friendship it can be business it can be something like that and i feel that uh, it will be continuing this relationship because you have something to do with each other financially maybe it's a business partner maybe it's some sort of friend um, or something is holding you together in this relationship so even if the, the one of you is mean to each other or one of you gets offended by each other you cannot leave because there's some sort of uh, mutual financial interest in some way so yeah this is our reading number two let's move on to our reading number three Our deck number three. This person's thoughts about you. This person's thoughts ab about you. Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, and Page of Wands. Well, they might think you're very addicted to, I don't know, shopping. You're addicted to your work, your money, uh, some, something like that, and. Um, they might see you as a younger, less experienced than themselves. You know, the page of wands, maybe they see you as a person with a child. Or maybe they see you as just like um, a person who is in some sort of like a relationship that is like bondage, where they cannot leave it. And page of wands sometimes can talk about a person who is a bit hot-headed and who tends to talk in a very... Uh, aggressive way when they speak the words are very harsh you know so maybe they've noticed your speech the way you speak and that's how they see you now let's have a look at what are the feelings towards you well they think very good of you uh, they almost adore you they almost love you here we have, uh, I would say, adoration, perfect person. Uh, it can be a woman who's married, who has a family, who's beautiful, uh, who's gentle or emotional, let's say. Maybe you have two sides. One is uh, because you're emotional, sometimes you're very uh, kind of... Uh, you speak what's on your mind, but sometimes you are very gentle and loving. And overall, they see, they, they respect you, you know, the good feelings. What are the actions? Death. So, I feel like, um, you know, maybe the relationship has changed, you know. I don't know who caused it to change. But like either you were about to break up or about to get back together, some sort of huge change. But whatever that is, they're not ready for that change. They're kind of clinging into you. They, they don't want to let go of you. So they kind of want, they act in a way that it's the same like it was before. It can be also that the actions are pretty financial, practical, you know, and they're not showing anything more than uh, than that it could also be that the person wants to have you they want to own you and they're waiting for the right opportunity when will that happen how can they do that that sort of situation what other wishes towards you well they want to do something secretly Maybe they want to come secretly to meet you. <clears throat> Maybe they want, uh, when no one will see, to do something, what others c would consider something very clever and, and secretive and actually not nice, you know. Maybe they want to have an affair with you or maybe they want to They have some plans or like they want to, tra to set us a trap, you know, where... The trap might be a positive trap, like, how do I put it, 
like they want to meet you and they trying to plan that meeting somehow in their, in their mind it's not a bad trap but it's like uh, trying to find an excuse to actually come over and talk to you or something like that so i feel like they are really thinking hard what can they do how can they work this out how can they come and kind of meet you at your house or something okay so now let's ask um what will happen in the future we have some sort of okay we have uh, you'll have a relationship we have it can be friendship love or just partnership um, let's see most likely it's work here but it can be some sort of like group relationship it can be a love triangle situation as well but we we do have you working together interacting and being together so this person is not going away but i don't know if this is going to be romantic if this is a romantic because i feel they are in love is this going to be what are going to what is the romantic future for you both high priestess well, I feel someone is not saying stuff that is on their mind. There are many people, family, urge to talk, but fear also and trying to hide things, keep it a secret. That sort of situation we have. <clears throat> and uh, I think there are many obstacles when it comes to communication. You don't communicate, maybe because we have high priestess so when it comes to communication people keep it in their mind they don't talk will they ever talk hermit no they will want but they will never be able to like they uh, choose not to do that um, because they think they are inadequate or, or something they're not worth you or, or something like that uh, but they are thinking about doing it, how to do it, and they're thinking, they're planning advice for them. Okay, courage, they have to have courage. Uh, it's very hard for them. Um, they either are courageous and talk or they are um, if or they don't talk, you know which also requires courage and patience and in either way it's difficult yeah that sort of situation we have impossible solution no solution basically in this case from that perspective okay this was our deck number three let's move on to our deck number four now Okay, our deck number four, running press tarot deck. The question is, what do they think of you right now? What does this person think of you right now? Six of cups. Six of hmm... Well, I think they remember things, uh, they think about some sort of maybe um, challenge when it comes to you, maybe they think you're resisting them, maybe they think you're uh, not talking to them, you know, like maybe you're proud, too proudy or something at the moment and, and they just definitely think and uh, maybe they think that you're pushing them away and they don't understand why you're doing that because with strength we have some sort of like either stubbornness or attitude or resistance that sort of feeling is here so they see some sort of pushing away uh, you know pushing them away from you um, so what are the feelings Eight of Swords, the Sun, and Ace of... So the feelings are, um, you know, hopeful. How to say hopeful and the um, overall optimistic and positive. You know, they might be afraid that um, with the Eight of Swords that there's something that they cannot do in this relationship. Maybe it's one-sided. If it's a romantic relationship, you know, like they 
have no power to communicate or, or say something, uh, that sort of thing. But um, I think they see an opportunity here. They feel an opportunity. And um, when they see you, basically, they feel that uh, feeling when it's like the fresh air, the fresh wind, you know, coming towards them. And it's some promising, like a relationship could be promising, potential is there, you know. So they feel happy. Even healing, it has healing power over them. Now, what other actions towards you? Judgment, star, ten of pentacles. So we do have you know actions are um i would say business business um involving some sort of financial i don't know actions let's say uh coming again uh, to see you for example thoughts are there and uh, literal action can be something to do with money, something to do with work, for example, going to you to work, or, you know, maybe you are the client, or maybe it's upside down. So there is some sort of financial action that they're doing. It can also be related with your property. And, um, and I feel that this is repeat repetitive like it happened and it's gonna happen again it's not like one-time action it's a long-term action what are their wishes when it comes to you page of swords ten of cups and king of cups well here it's similar to like having a family getting married or something definitely um it's uh, based on emotions and love and happiness. Maybe they want to get married with you, have children, you know, things like that. Um, overall, they want emotional happiness, emotional fulfillment when it comes to you. It's very emotional here. Now, what will happen in the future? The magician. The world. Nine of Wands. Well, Nine of Wands, as you can see, is not a very good card at the end. It shows kind of being close in jail. It shows... Okay. So, because of this card, um, <clears throat> we have some sort of uh, obstacle, let's say, in communicating, in meeting. Maybe it's your decision, you know, to... Uh, you or theirs decision to keep that person away from from each other and uh, so for now we have that sort of situation maybe you will be again separated from each other somehow um, Maybe it's something to do with society, maybe with people, <clears throat> and maybe the person's image, the person's how they want to look to other people. So one of you or both of you are kind of subtly resisting this relationship with this card we have. Like uh, you choose to look at each other from distance, from the window with grid, uh, grilled things like that so this is our reading number four thank you for watching this video hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful day bye bye